Welcome to another Ultimate GED math practice test from ultimateged.com. We encourage you to try every question first. If you already have the Ultimate GED math course, you can refer to the topics for further clarification. If you don't have the course, use this to know your strengths and weakness. Let's dive right in. If a line has a slope of negative 2 over 3, what is the slope of a line that is perpendicular to it? A. Negative 3 over 2 B. 2 over 3 C. Negative 2 over 3 D. 3 over 2 The correct answer is D. 3 over 2 When two lines are perpendicular to each other, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Reciprocal here simply means flipping the numerator and denominator of the number. So 2 over 3 will be 3 over 2. The negative will simply change the sign. So here, since this is negative 2 over 3, we will have positive 3 over 2. We basically flipped the numbers and changed the sign. There's no need to write plus in front of a number, so the answer is D, 3 over 2. Please check out ultimateged.com for more twists to questions like this. What is the slope of the line represented by the equation y equals negative 3x plus 2? a. negative 3 b. 3 c. negative 2 d. 2 The correct answer is a. negative 3. This is one of the easiest slope question you'll find on the GED. The equation given is in the slope-intercept form. This is y equals mx plus b. In this form, the coefficient of the x is your slope. Basically the number with the x is your slope. Since we have negative 3x, negative 3 will be our slope. Let's look at a similar question to this, but one that will require a little more. What is the slope of the line represented by the equation 2y equals 3x plus 6? a. 2 over 3 b. negative 2 over 3 c. 3 over 2 d. negative 3 over 2 The correct answer is c. 3 over 2 This is similar to the previous question, but you have to be careful. This equation is not in the slope-intercept form. For it to be in the slope-intercept form, we want the y to be by itself. We can achieve that by dividing through by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 6 over 2 is 3. So we have y equals 3 over 2x plus 3. Now, this is in the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. y equals mx plus b. We said in this form, the number with the x is our slope. So our slope is 3 over 2. Find the slope of the line passing through the points 2, 4, and 6, 5. a. 1 over 4. b. 1 over 2. C. 1. T. 2. The correct answer is A. 1 over 4. To find the slope of a line given two points, we will use the slope formula. M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Formulas are given on the GED, so don't worry too much about it. Please note that you can call any of the point 1 or 2. I'm choosing this as 1 and this as 2. We know that when you have a point, the first value is your x, and the second value is your y. Since we are calling this point 1, we will have x1, y1 here. Same thing for this. Since we are calling this our point 2, we can call this x2, y2. We just put the values into the formula. We have 5, which is y2, minus 4, which is y1, divided by 6, which is x2, minus 2, which is x1. We simplify. 5 minus 4 is 1, over 6 minus 2, which is 4. So the slope is 1 over 4. What is the slope of the line below? a. 1 b. negative 1 c. negative 2 d. 2 The correct answer is b. negative 1. The slope of a line is the change in y over the change in x. 
We know that the change in y simply means how many points you are going up or down. If you are going up, then you have a positive change. If you are going down, then you have a negative change. The change in x simply means how many points you are going to the right or left. If you are going to the right, then you have a positive change. If you are going to the left, then you have a negative change. Let's look at our question. Our first step will be to choose any two points on the line. I am choosing these two points. Let's call it A and B. You can choose any two points on the line. However, it is important to choose points that will make your work easier. Choose points whose X and Y values can be easily determined. Normally, points at the corners are best. Now to find the slope, all we are doing is moving from one point of the line to the other on the slope triangle. Let's move from B to A. We moved down two points. Notice moving down is negative. So we have negative two here. Then we will move to the right two points to get to A. Notice that moving to the right is positive. We have two here. Negative two over positive two is negative one. So our slope is negative one. Notice that our first movement is always change in Y, that is moving up or down, then our second movement is change in X. That is moving left or right. There are other ways we could have moved to get the same results. Check our other GED videos for more. What is the y-intercept of the graph? A, 1. B, negative 1. C, negative 2. D, 2. The correct answer is D, 2. The y-intercept is the point where the line meets the y-axis. This is our y-axis. The line meets the y-axis at this point. The value here is 2, therefore the y-intercept is 2. You could have been asked to find the x-intercept. This is simply the point the line meets the x-axis, so this will be that point. Therefore the x-intercept is 1. Graph a line with y-intercept, negative 3, and x-intercept 6. We know the y-intercept is a point on the y-axis. This value is negative 3. We locate it and plot our point. The x-intercept is 6. We know that the x-intercept is a point on the x-axis. We locate our point 6 on the x-axis and plot the point. Finally, we draw a line through those two points and we are done. Graph the line with slope, negative 3, and y-intercept 4. Let's bring our graph. We know the y-intercept is a point on the y-axis. This point is 4. So we plot that first. We need one more point to graph a line. The slope is negative 3. We know that this is the same as negative 3 over 1. We also know that the numerator shows us how many points we should go up or down and the denominator shows us how many points we should go left or right. Since this is negative, we are moving three points down from the y-intercept. Then we will move one to the right, because it is positive. This will give us our second point. We can now draw a line through our two points, and we are done. We will end this video here. Please check out the full course at ultimateged.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also watch our other videos for more. We wish you the best in your test preparation and actual tests.